Hi guys, it's Cassidy. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here in this video. I'm gonna make my clothing for my South Carolina trip. I am leaving on Wednesday, which is in less than a week. And me and my little cousin are going for just like a little getaway. And we got this condo that is right on the beach. Like we have a view of the beach. So I'm thrilled. Okay, so we just got to replace you guys and look you ready <laughs> are you kidding me this is a joke right and i just got back from a belated birthday brunch you guys want to see my fit it's so cute so this is a scarf that my nania used to have it's like I tucked it in this so that didn't pop out. So I just like tucked it in my pants, put that over. And then this is the back. I just tied it around right there so you couldn't see my bra. It's really cute, really fun. I love it. It's very vintage. I wore wide legging pants, shoes with it, but I took them off already because I didn't feel like keeping them on. Anyway, for fun, I thought I would make some of my clothes for the South Carolina trip. I thrifted stuff back in winter and they were summer clothing because I don't have a lot of summer outfits. So I am gonna flip them for this trip and let's just get into it. All right, my first shirt or victim, whatever you prefer, is this wrinkly baby this one honestly i just want to like we'll crop it here first i'm gonna do it it's actually amazing what cropping a top can do for the top i can put it up like this which i think is really f cute or i can put it down anything i could still tie it to the side i could under a bra and then back is the perfect length this one is finished. Now on to my second victim of the night. And this one, I want to do it so that I can tie it. And it has sort of like this showing in the front, but in a much more flattering way. So I'm going to cut it down the center. Let it just snip. I ended up cutting it more. Shocker. I know. It just needed a little more. After I cropped it, I tied the ends together, wrapped it around, then hand sewed it into place. This one didn't take very long to do, but I really love how it turned out and I'm excited for you guys to see it. My Adidas one! Have you guys heard that some people pronounce it Adidas? Um, let me know in the comments because I had a teacher who swore by that and I honestly think it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> this one I had an entirely different vision in my mind for it when I first started, but after I got cutting, I put it back on and absolutely fell in love with the silhouette. It's very flattering and it has a little flirty shoulder cut. Not only is it cute, but I feel like it's very different and it reminds me of if high fashion were to mesh with workout clothing. I could see a mom in Beverly Hills getting this custom made for her, you know? That's just the vibe that it's getting off. This cut is so... It's just so clean. The way this goes down and then that goes up and then this comes across like, ooh. I honestly might keep it like this. I did end up keeping it exactly like that, just cropped. I'm pretty sure every single top in this video too is cropped. It's honestly just the vibe of this summer. Like I said before too, the cut is very clean and flirty. Most of these didn't actually take me long to do. The longest one was this flower child one that we are looking at right now. And this one took me about two hours total, which is super quick. It's gonna be very... It's gonna be very flower child when it's finished. I'm gonna put loops right here so that it ties up in the front like how it does in the side. And then leave these open and you can tie it up as much as you want. Hey. 